This is what is left of the city of Mariupol after over a month of shelling. Loud blasts can still be heard in the city center from afar, and many people left here have gotten used to it. This is the hotspot for these refugees to get SIM cards, food, water, and electricity. About 3,000 to 8,000 of them gather here every day, and more are expected to come. We are completely prepared for this. We will open another humanitarian aid center in the city center on Saturday. We will provide both aid and SIM cards. We will give all necessary help to the locals. We have got another humanitarian aid center on the left side of Mariupol. This aid will spread to the whole of Mariupol. Outside the aid center, many have left messages here in the hope of reaching out to their loved ones. This is a message wall and people have left their photos and what they want to say to their parents, relatives or friends. For example, here, this one that says, Mama, your dwarma, Mama, I'm home. Your home is not destroyed. I'm waiting for you. If you go out, your key is in my aunt's place, Dorch daughter. The woman is crying for help to find her daughter as internet is cut off completely. Many of these people came to the press for help to find their relatives or express their anger over the conflict. We don't have water or light. My house has been destroyed by them, by the Azov regiment. They didn't allow us to take our stuff. This is what I have on me, only documents. Everything was left in my home. I had two large cats in my house. They didn't allow us to take them. People died. People were burned to death. They burned down my apartment building and they yelled, Hail to Ukraine. Now about 20 to 30 people, including civilians, are sent into this hospital. Most of them are injuries from bomb shrapnel. Over half of the city has been destroyed because of the conflict over the past month. And the battle is still ongoing about five kilometers away from here. And in the background, you can still hear the blast now and then. And no one knows when the battle will end here. Li Jianhua, CGTN, Marupo.